Hi, this is Cory, and here's another Synchro training video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how Synchro can be used to do some pretty advanced uh, crew size reporting, and as well as a tool that can be used to supplement the lean workflow. So let us begin. Um, we've all been seeing a lot of poll plans lately in post-it note scheduling and that have been created in a collaborative methodology. And in some other videos, I can show you how here at Beck we uh, take those poll plans and input those into synchro schedules. And as part of that process, what we end up with is supplier or company information, as well as the manpower information associated with that task. And if this is set up correctly, you can then go to change the coloration of this process and uh, color your tasks not just based on the status of the activity, but instead by the actual trade that it's associated with. So I've recently got some questions about, hey, can how can we then take this manpower graph and create something like a resource histogram that's associated with it? And Synchro does this really well in terms of uh, user fields. So if we pull up our user fields graph, okay, it's down here at the bottom. Um, we if we had manpower turned off and turn it back on. Uh, this graph shows up. So the Synchro user field graph is something that I think is really quite impressive. Um, very simple to use. So for instance right here, uh, if we had five people, instead five people on this punch and furniture, notice that that resource histogram goes down to five. If it was up to twelve, then it's going to be running right at twelve people. Um, so like I said, some pretty powerful, pretty powerful stuff. But what I'm going to do here today is show how we can use uh, Synchro's workflow of going back and forth from Excel to really make this to make this thing sing. So first step, as usual, is to hit Control A, select all of our tasks, and then right click, copy tasks as text. I use Control Shift C, and pull up the an Excel spreadsheet. And here, I'm just going to make this a table. Say my table does not have headers. Do some resizing of our columns and Alt W F F to freeze the panes. Synchro does not paste over column names. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. Manpower, company, duration, start, finish, and whatever the heck that is. Okay. So here we can see all of that same information that we just pulled over from Synchro in an Excel spreadsheet. So when I'm working in Excel with Synchro, I'll call this the data, um, I make a lot of pivot tables. So the way most people would do that is go up to the, des the design, say summarize this thing with the pivot table in our new worksheet. So pivot tables are great. Uh, I don't. I probably have. We'll have some some more video tutorials on Excel pivot tables, but. I'll just show you the basic function here. So what I did, I separated the company um, by, or I, I put the, all, the, all the companies in the row. So each, each unique company that is found in that data section comes in here as a row in that column. What I want to do is map that to a discipline. So I can call this finishes, DDF, finishes, NTech, MEP, MEP, MEP. I'm not sure who those people are. These guys are going to be finishes, other, finishes. I'm not sure who that is. And back, we're our own thing. So this is how I typically do my mappings here. I map one here to the other. Then I go back and do a handy V lookup. So I do the V lookup. I'm going to look up that company name looking in the table array of this thing. Make sure you hit F4 to make that a uh, absolute reference. Uh, it's looking in the second column and it's going to be false. So what I just did here is separated all that out by discipline. Now what I want to do is make a new pivot table so I can just copy this thing over to here, get rid of all these guys, 
course I need to refresh it so I can get that discipline out. Refresh and see now discipline shows up. So now what I want to do is put in my discipline over here and instead I want to show my task ID. So I put in manpower and right now this is giving me the count of the manpower. Instead what I want to do is turn that into the sum of the manpower. So what I can see here is that for ST0020, the Beck, uh, there's four Beck laborers. Um, and right now that would be giving me, so ST0020, yes, four Beck laborers. That's perfect. Okay. And, yeah, you just got to trust me on that. It works. <laughs> Again, this is not a pivot table, so pivots. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take and grab these uh, five columns and bring them back into my data section. That these are additional user fields that I can create in that synchro schedule. So we had Beck. We'll come up here and change that background color. It'd be no fill. Lovely, lovely. And actually, we'll make it a little bit different color. Make it orange. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now do a VLOOKUP based on that ac that task ID. The table array is going to be this whole mess right over here. F4, the relative reference. Go back here in my data section, and I'm going to lock that in at money K, money 2 and false on the relative reference. Yeah, that, that should be working. Yep, perfect. So drag that over. That didn't work, so I hold control and drag it over. Drag this thing over. Oh, and of course, I still don't understand how these absolute and relative references work within tables. So what I'm going to say is B5. I'm going to copy that thing down. It needs to be money B, money, money B5. There we go. Just like that. Going a little bit too fast here. I'm doing a few different issues with my mouse clicks. Oh, I didn't grab the NAs. Copy that down. Alright, so what that does is it puts all this in our MEP trades. So that commissioning had one person and I put that back in the other category. <laughs> so I just had to do a little bit of debugging there, and I see that I was actually pulling from the wrong column. You know, we all make mistakes from time to time. So that's why we do that double checking. So here Merrick has four people, four in finishes. I know Cherry Paint is finishes. And coming back up here, Beck has one person. All right, splendid, fantastic, excellent. So then what I do is go back to my synchro schedule, and I can have finishes, mechanical, uh, other, and I'm just going to call this one Beck. And up here in my schedule, columns, I will open up my user field section and I'm going to bring over Beck. I'm going to bring over, I want to do this in the right order, Beck finishes MEP and other. Beck finishes MEP and other. I notice, hey, I didn't call it the same thing, so I'm going to go into this thing, modify MEP, it changes it right there. All right, lovely, lovely. Back to Excel. 
is the book too. And up at the top, I'm going to say con or shift right 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 arrow, control shift down. Copy. Come back up here and right click, paste task as text. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now I have this whole thing broken out by resource. See, we were just doing some double check, just some spot checking. Four back, four for Merrick, four for Merrick. As we go down to HA Electrical, we have five in the MEP section. All right, fantastic. So, let me just gather up the way this thing looks a little bit. And now what we've got, when we open up this user field graph, if I turned off manpower, I can just look at what is my resources for finishes. And MEP, back, all of these things. There's my other. That's manpower as a whole. So what I'm not actually sure of, and I would just have to do a little bit more testing, is is this an additive process or not? So if I look like right around here, this thing is going to be at positive 20. So if I grab my finishes, if I grabbed back, MEP, and other, looks like this is getting me up there pretty close. So. just at a raw manpower level. I'm not comfortable saying that it is additive. No, I think it I think it has to be additive. Yeah, I think it is. And I would imagine that if these things moved up and down it's it's by alphabetical order. Yes, so these user fields are additive. That is the comment that I'm going to make, and you can change this color. So if you wanted to make like these, this thing blue right there, you could do that. You could make your finishes be a nice like purple. I always like to rag on the finishes, guys. And MEP, you can make them green. miscellaneous other would just be the line in black. So that is some advanced user field reporting in terms of manpower loading. Uh, good luck and I'm sure there'll be some questions and I'm happy to answer them.